it's just not good. I, I don't know what else to say. It's not good. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a super exciting video. I'm going to be trying the brand Shein today and I'm really excited to try this brand. It's like super affordable clothing, but also clothes that are like super in fashion at the moment as well. So I'm going to do this haul a little bit different to my other ones. I'm just going to put the clothes straight on instead of opening them up on camera, but everything is still my first impressions and still the first time I've tried all the clothes on. So now let's just get straight into the video but before we do that make sure to like and subscribe down below and make sure to check out my Instagram because that's when I notify you guys every time I upload a new video now let's get started okay guys so here's the first outfit so first we have this little top and it is little so here it is up close and I actually think it's really cool. You would just need to wear like a bralette or something that you'd be happy for people to probably see if you were to put my, your arms up because if I was to put my arms up, you would see um, most things. That's what I would recommend and how I'd probably wear it. I think I've got like a Tommy Hill figure one or something I'd put underneath or if you had like a Calvin Klein one, that would look pretty cool. Quality wise, it just feels like a normal tee that I like have no complaints about it. I feel like eventually the printing would come off, so you'd probably just want to be careful of that. It just feels, that's probably what does feel the cheapest. So I think you're definitely paying for what you paid. I generally quite like it. I think like it looks pretty cool with these jeans and yeah, I just think you would need to wear something underneath it that you'd be happy for people to see. But yeah, I think this is a pretty cool top and it's very like, I don't have anything like this actually and I kind of... I quite like it. So then we have these jeans. I'll show you guys a better view in a second, but I'm actually pretty impressed by these, to be honest. They fit really well around my waist. They're a little bit tight around my legs. I think that's just gonna happen with like any pair of pants at this point. If you've watched any of my other videos, I have this problem with every single pair of pants I try on. So I think that's just a me problem. I'll show you guys a proper view of the full look. So here's a better angle of those jeans. So they've got like a little cuff at the bottom as well, which I don't have any jeans like that either. I kind of wish they were a little bit tighter at my ankles because they're quite loose fitting at the bottom. I don't mind it. They don't look bad or anything like that. So here they are. So these jeans were either like a size 12 or a large. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. But yeah, I honestly really don't mind these. I think they fit my waist really nicely as well. Like they're not tight. And yeah, I am impressed with these. Now let's put on the next little outfit because pretty impressed so far. So this is the next outfit. We have this blue jumper and these white shorts. So I've actually tried a jumper on very, very similar to this from Tiger Mist. Almost identical, I would say, except it was $70, whereas this one was more like, I think, around the $30 range. It's honestly so, so similar that I couldn't even really tell the difference. The color and even that like stitching line was exactly the same and it was like a zip up and I'm just like a little bit confused why this one's so much cheaper. But this is such a stunning blue. I am obsessed with this color. It is so pretty. I just, I'm so obsessed with it and I'm pretty sure I say this all the time. So I've also got these white shorts because I've seen like lots of people wearing those like sweatpants shorts everywhere and these aren't as like sweatpant feeling as I was expecting. I feel like they look like they would be in the photo but like they're really good quality actually. These pants feel really good. They're a little bit like, you know how, so we've got the pockets in here and you kind of can see the outline but the pants aren't see-through. Well, I'm wearing white underwear, but with white underwear, they're not see-through. These feel really nice, but I just don't think they were what I was expecting. They almost feel and look like dressy sweatpants shorts, if that's a thing. Just the material and the style is just like giving me those vibes. They are honestly super comfortable. I think the only thing that's putting me off a little bit is that you can see the pockets. So there we go, you can see the pocket through the material, which I'm not super keen on. That's just like, I think I was just expecting them to feel more like sweatpants, but they're a little bit thinner than that. But otherwise these are pretty good and I don't think they were too expensive either. And they're very movable. I'm like a worm, a wiggly worm. <laughs> 
Now back onto this jumper. I'm honestly really impressed by it considering I did try on a $70 one and this is like a cheaper one and I'm really not noticing much of a difference at all. So, so the lining's like this inside which was the exact same as how the other one was. So I'm really not noticing much of a difference. So this one is definitely a thumbs up for me. Like I really, really like it. And the color is just, look at it. It's stunning. I love it. Okay, let's try the next outfit. Okay, so next we have this black jumper and honestly, I don't really like this one. It wasn't really what I was expecting. I don't really like how puffy the sleeves are. Quality wise, it is pretty good, especially I think for what I paid for it. I think this one was on the cheaper side. I'm just not really vibing with it. I just don't, I think I was expecting it to just be like, a normal black sweater but with the turtleneck but it's just like it's just weird I can't explain it it's just like not for me it's also quite thin it's almost like it's thicker than like a normal t-shirt but it's thinner than like a normal sweater so it's very like in between I think it would be good for like under things like if you were wearing a jacket or something over the top but I really just am not liking these sleeves I have no idea why I'm so against these sleeves they're just not for me and I don't think this is what I thought when I was buying it either I don't think I realized how puffy the sleeves would be but I also do have a jacket that I'm gonna try over the top so I'm gonna be honest guys I've worn this jacket a few times I knew that I bought it and I took it out the packet I really wanted to wear it because I actually really love it so it's this green corduroy jacket and it's also got this woolen lining in the side but it's not in the sleeves so in the sleeves it's more that more like a satin material um, but also the hood has that woolen stuff as well. So I love this. Oh, yeah. I think this jacket is one of the most expensive things I did buy. But to be fair, like if you were to buy this off another website, I think you'd be paying a lot more. I will say there's definitely some little things that I've noticed since wearing it. Basically just little bits like here with the material isn't like amazing. Also, I'm not sure if you're going to realize what I'm getting at in this, but basically this little bit here, because it's so lightweight and probably like a cheaper sort of material, it's quite noisy when I'm wearing it. Like... Does that sound, it sounds kind of cheap to me, if that makes sense. Hopefully, or I sound really stupid right now. But I do really like wearing this and I don't, honestly don't really care too much about that just because it's not super noticeable, it's more on the inside. It also keeps you quite warm and stuff as well, so I am really liking this. So here is the next little outfit. I wouldn't actually probably wear it like this, but I'm just going to show it like this. So we have this little like long sleeve sort of top. It's quite thin and it's got like a raw hem and it's definitely like a raw hem. Like it's something it looks like I would have cut it. In saying that, I do quite like this. It's just like a very lightweight little long sleeve top. Um, it's a little bit, it probably isn't the best quality like overall. Just like little things of how things like sit and I do quite like the sort of pattern if that makes sense with the stitching. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of got like this, it's kind of got these like little lines. I feel like this is a cute little top that you could wear under like a jumper or um, if it's like sort of hot, sort of cold. Don't really know what you're wearing so you wear like a, you know, like a long sleeve little cute top. Enough about this top and now let's talk about this skirt. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell but this has got to be the worst quality thing I've tried so far to like in this video it's just so thin it's not double lined or anything it's honestly just so thin that it's also showing my stomach like you would have to be an absolute stick to not show a bump with this material because it's so thin I do really like the style of it the length of it like the little slit and stuff but like it's just so thin that it's not it's not wearable for me. I would not feel comfortable going out in this. It honestly, it feels like you're not really wearing much. It's just that thin and lightweight. It's just not good. I, I don't know what else to say. It's not good. It also just feels like it would rise up because there's no weight to it. It's just so thin. Like, even when I pulled it out the packaging, I was just like, just felt like I was holding nothing. It was just so nothing. 
It was just nothing. And that's what it feels like. They didn't do a good job of this. They did not. Mm. I honestly wouldn't recommend for anyone to buy this. It's not even worth it, even if it was super cheap, because like it's not wearable. Like it's not. I don't feel comfortable. This would show, it shows like all your undie lines. It just shows like everything. Just everything. Ugh, I just want to get it off. <laughs> This next thing's a little bit different. Not the, not the top, but the pants. I haven't, I'll show you guys the pants in a second, but here we have this top. And I think this top was like, honestly, like seven or eight dollars and I love it. It's just this ribbed top and it's, it's such a simple top and I'm so glad that it's only like seven or eight dollars and it still like feels good quality. Like so many other websites would have this top just for more money for no reason and it all probably feels somewhat the same. So honestly, the fact that this is like seven or eight dollars is just amazing and I honestly just want this in different colors. It's just so nice. It's more like a, um, this is more of like a dusty blue but I really like this especially for the price point that just like bumps it up another notch I honestly would recommend this top it's just a basic top that would go with heaps of things that was super cheap and fits like amazingly so I really have no complaints about this it's like bodycon but it's like a tiny bit baggy does that make sense yeah cool now these pants these are so interesting. I'm going to bring you guys down. They're these black ribbed pants and they're not probably the best of quality. They're a little bit see-through, but I'm just going to show you guys like a proper view. So because they're black, it's a little bit hard to see. But basically they're like these flare ribbed pants. So they're quite tight around my thighs. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or that's my thighs or it's not fitting properly. I would say that is probably the style. And then it like flares out at the end and you've got all this like excess material. They are honestly quite comfortable. I feel like anything ribbed is low-key really comfortable. Um, they are just a little bit see-through. I've got like white. You could probably, I think you could get away with it though if you're wearing like nude underwear. It's not too bad, but just like, I don't know. Can you see like the tag? I honestly don't really know how I feel about these. I think I've never owned anything like it that I'm really confused. They're really quite comfortable though. Loki, I feel like these would look good with Air Forces for I don't know what reason. Like I have no idea where I would wear these. I feel like you would just wear them around the house, but they're just, I, I, I don't know. Like I'm really confused. I feel like I need some opinions on these pants. So leave a comment whether you like them or you don't like them. They're just like, they're super random, but I feel like they're low key in at the moment as well. They do feel really soft and nice though. They're just a tiny bit see-through. So I'd probably stick more to wearing them at home. These are just, these are so random, but so cool. And now for the next one. Okay guys, next up is this dress. And honestly, I really liked the style and the color, obviously it's blue and just like the overall style of it. But as you can probably see, everything is out to play, not just because of how thin it is, but also because of how short it is. It is so short, like I am like, pulling it down so that everything doesn't rise up like if you want to night out my lord you would just know it's it's just so short like it barely covers my bum i personally don't like my dresses just covering my bum you like that then maybe this dress is for you like even just here, I don't feel very comfortable. I think the camera's making it a little bit worse, but it does show like every lump bump all over your body. And I don't feel very comfortable like that as I'm sure you guys could understand. It's just a really thin dress and it's not the best of quality. It's just like that thin that you can even see like the tag on the side here. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. I feel like if you can see the tag, then you can probably see everything else underneath. Like my undie line is very much out on display. I honestly just feel so super uncomfortable wearing this dress right now and I really want to get it off so let's try on the next one. <laughs> so next up we have another dress and this one feels better than the last one I'll say that and it's definitely got more length to it. Basically the dress is quite long but then you cinch it up on the sides to make it shorter. It's supposed to be like that cow neck sort of thing but I'm not, it's not really sitting right. I don't know. Now quality wise it's not amazing. It's quite thin 
and the satin feels quite cheap like it feels it still feels quite nice to touch but I've definitely felt better satin than this I do like the idea of the dress like the style and the color the color is really really nice honestly I do like that I'm honestly just not vibing with it that much I don't think it sits very nicely with this especially like it's just I don't know what to do with it I don't know what's going through my head right now for some reason this looks kind of odd and I don't know why and I don't know if I've just done something weird like I don't mind it like it's definitely better than the last dress I just had on but it's just I don't know if I feel super duper comfortable wearing it I think this is really annoying me I know I've mentioned it like three times already in the last minute but I really that's not doing it for me it's just weird hello like even if I'm just trying to like I don't know they've done something weird it's like there's not enough material to make it do the cow neck thing oh, the colors really nice though and I really like the whole satin the satin looks just I guess with the ruching I do feel more comfortable because it's like like you wouldn't know what's the dress and what's like a roll of fat look I'm not gonna give this dress a, like an absolute thumbs down but I'm not gonna give it a thumbs up either like I don't think it's amazing quality wise and things like that it's one I'm a bit confused with so I can't say no because I'm confused so I have one more outfit for you guys and I'm gonna put that one on hopefully I'm not forgetting anything I don't think I am okay Okay, so we have this top and this is again sort of like a dusty blue but it's more in that satin sort of color now I'm not sure how I feel about it it's not the bestest quality but like it's wear like it's definitely wearable but what I'm finding is like I want it a little bit more together so that not everything's out but when I do that it's just like pulling and like this is probably as tight as I can sort of get it but I just feel like I don't know I just feel like there's a lot out like I just feel like one lot of wind and it's like see ya like you can see everything I know that's sort of like the style but I just feel I don't know like you can definitely see my bra but you definitely like I don't know how anyone would wear this without a bra or like you must be some sort of risque person or you are confident because I and not because I couldn't do that. We also have these jeans. Now these jeans were so hard to get on, it wasn't even funny. First of all, it was just really, really tight around my legs, just so unbelievably tight. And this was the exact same size as the last jeans, except those jeans just went on like zip hop fine. These, oh my goodness. I was doing this zip for so long, just so long. So I think this is actually what's the issue. It's almost like the zip has been painted black and it's making it really stiff to then do up. And I don't know if that's 100% right, but I'm also pretty sure I'm right because I can see a little bit of that like brassy normal zip color and then it's covered with black. I don't know. I honestly, I can't really put my finger on it, but it's just like not it. I couldn't really size up because it fits my waist quite well and it does fit me. It was just like tight on my legs as usual in the same spot. I don't even know if I'm gonna get, oh goodness, oh goodness. I don't know if I'm gonna get these off. Hang on, I'll show you guys a full view of the jeans. I realized I didn't. I've also got some shoes from Shein and they're a little bit small and I'm actually devastated about it because I love them. Alrighty, so here's a full view of the jeans. And the shoes are these black fluffy slides and I honestly think I'd wear these like everywhere because I have my like Adidas slides that I wear a lot. But these are like a nicer pair of slides. I'll take them off. Oh, I can't even bend in these jeans. Ugh. Okay, so here are the slides and these are just like the cutest. I'm so devo. I did get them in my size. I think they just run a bit small. Um, just to let you guys know so if you are interested in these shoes I would recommend sizing up they're literally just like I would say one size too small I think one size like my foot is just sort of hanging over at the end which is kind of weird anyway these jeans I really don't mind like the whole look of them it's just like they're not the greatest quality with the zip I don't know but these jeans are still cute I'm honestly gonna have to ask my mom about these jeans and what she thinks of them because I'm really confused and she will give it to me straight and give me the honest truth on what she thinks. Mum, if you're watching this, what do you think of these jeans? I also did get two other little random things. So first, let me show you. 
So I got these gloves and Loki, these are so good. These are like $7. I have worn them because my hands were cold and I really, I don't have a pair of gloves. So I feel like these gloves are super random because like I never ever wear gloves and I feel so random in them right now. But they are honestly such good quality, these gloves. So they've got like a little bit of fluff, sort of the same as those shoes. And then all on the inside, like these are the warmest gloves. All on the inside, it's all like fluffy and I'm like these gloves are low-key amazing okay so I got this phone case and it's so cute I honestly am a bit scared to use this as a phone case because oh my goodness I think it's low-key breaking because of it's kind of bad quality like I just took out that holographic thing that you just saw because it's not even actually like you can just take it out it's just like a piece of cardboard um which obviously is like a little bit dodge but it, it was like four dollars fifty or something like that so really really cheap i'm just a little bit nervous to use it because i'm scared that it might not protect my phone case like i actually dropped my phone that much that it needs to protect my phone so that is the little phone case from shein it was really cheap but like it's really cute so you know okay so that concludes this video i tried on so much much stuff low-key I'm scared I forgot something so that's the first time I've ever shopped at Shein and I would say it's quite hit and miss like there were some things I was pretty impressed with and then some things where it's like okay the price points really showing now if you guys haven't been on Shein before like Shein is super cheap like there is some really cheap things on there I think definitely read the reviews I do think I would low-key shop on Shein again like just because things were so cheap and like you sort of get the styles that you want but for cheap because they're very up-to-date in current styles but I just would really recommend reading the reviews and like maybe watching other YouTube videos like this that like fully go into what you're buying but yes that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe down below and also make sure to check out my Instagram because that's when I notify you guys every time I upload a new video and I'll see you guys all in the next one bye